then let us say case 2 case 2 here mb is known is known to be to be a steep downward sloping a steep downward sloping curve but mc is unknown So, let us say that this is again pollution control or permit both you can measure and this is dollar m b and m c. this is let us say your MB, this is expected this thing. So, this is XM amount of permit given okay, decided. Now, if your XM X this is let us say marginal cost higher. So, this is x h star and let us say. So, in this case what is happening? In this case, in this case again x h star is lower than this. So, that means, firms are forced, forced to go up to x m level of pollution control. right? So, that means, there is divergence between social optima and private optima, but if you compare this situation with the earlier one, with the earlier one, the amount of divergence is coming down. So, the amount of divergence is coming down in this case, right. Similarly, if it is m c low, so this is the amount of x l star. Again, there is a divergence between private optima and social optima, but the amount of divergence is going down. So, that means, tradable permit system, permit system works better when the marginal benefit is steep straight line. If you make it even more steeper, even more steeper, then the divergence, the, the difference between x m and x h and x m and x l will go down. So, that means, in this case, permit system permit system works better okay permit system works better if you make it more flat then in case 3 what will happen let us say that this is case 3 mb is m b is actually flatter than case 2. What will happen? So, this is your instead of steep straight line, let us say that m b is like this. So, this is your e m c. So, this is your m c h. So, that means, this is x m, this is x h star, let us say this is x l star, right. So, again what is happening here, what is happening here, the divergence between the difference between x m and x h in this case, x m 
minus x h star in case 3 is higher than I will say that x m minus x h star in case 2. Similarly, the difference between x m and x l star is higher in 3 compared to x m minus x h in 2 case 2. Okay, case 2. So, that means, the permit system works poorly when your marginal benefit curve becomes flatter and if you rotate this m b again clockwise, then you will get a situation where m b will again become a flat straight line and then permit system will be fully ineffective. So, that means, the effectiveness of permit system and emission charge is just the opposite. Okay? When the policy maker is uncertain about the marginal cost of control, but certain about the marginal benefit, in that case these two instruments work in a different direction. Okay? They work differently. While emission charge is fully effective in the case 1, it is completely ineffective in case 2, in, in, in case 1, in case of permit. Okay? And then as the M B curve becomes flatter or steeper, the effectiveness of permit system and emission system is just quite different. So, you need to compare these cases to understand the mechanism. Okay? Now, in short, in nutshell, why the permit system is not working fully uh, uh, in this particular system? Because permit system, permit system is not flexible like emission charge. Okay. Permits once allotted can't be taken back. That is where the problem arises. Okay. Permits once allotted cannot be taken back. Right? Now, there is one more instrument based on this experience of permit system and emission system. Some economists they suggested a hybrid system. What is that hybrid system? So, that means you have you, you have a system wherein multiple instruments are working simultaneously. So, you have emission tax, you have uh, permit and you have some amount of subsidy also. And if that is the case, that is called hybrid system. hybrid system. So, what happens in that case? Let us try to understand a hybrid system, effectiveness of a hybrid system. So, here it is pollution control. And here it is dollar. Okay. Let us say that uh, Let us say that this is basically this is basically your EMC expected marginal cost, expected marginal cost, and this is your sorry, this is this is your XM. XM is the permit. 
okay xm is the permit and xm is the permit if if your actual cost of abatement is higher than this expected one then what happens let us say that this is mch this is mch and let us say that this is your mb mb is this is your mb so intersection between mb and emc decided about the optimal level of permit right optimal level of permit so if it is higher than this so obviously there would be a divergence there would be a divergence because xm is higher than this now how will you solve this divergence the divergence to solve this divergence what happens you impose a tax let us say that this is the tax rate okay or let us say instead of this let us say that the tax rate is actually this this is the tax rate okay so this is let us say x h in mix system so that means when your marginal cost is higher than the expected you have one tax rate also okay you have one tax rate is that fine so what is happening here even though even though you have a divergence the difference the divergence is actually going down why because the difference between difference between x h star minus x m is actually higher than then x h star minus x h in m s m s means mixed system right so by imposing a tax also if i allow a tax also then what is happening that system works better than a system where only the permit system is working right similarly let us now assume that your that your uh, mc is actually lower than what you expected so this is again the optimality which is let's say x l star okay all right so there is a difference between xl and xm to solve this divergence what the policy makers are doing they are actually they are actually giving a subsidy here let us say that this is subsidy s and when the subsidy is given then what will happen they will equate the subsidy amount sorry uh, subsidy is given let us say this is a subsidy is given here this is subsidy so this is the amount let us say x l in m s so here also x l star minus x m is greater than x l star minus x l uh, uh, what i will say that instead of this i will say that this is sorry uh, instead of writing in this way i will write in this that way let us say that x m the first condition x m minus x h star is actually greater than x m minus x h m s okay in this case also 
x m the divergence minus x l star is again higher than x m minus x l star sorry in uh, this is m s actually. Right. So, that means in this hybrid system, what are the instruments working? Tax, subsidy and permit. Now, what we are trying to do here? So, this is a, this is a hybrid, hybrid system, system of, system of tax, then subsidy, and and permit when actual abatement cost is higher than expected we are giving we are imposing tax also to reduce the divergence when the actual tax rate is lower than expected then we are giving subsidy why this is so because if permit system if we allow permit system to work alone, then there would be too less of pollution control. We have already seen earlier that when this is low, permit system is not flexible, we will have too less of pollution control. Now, how to motivate the firm to go for more pollution control in this case? You give subsidy. Additional pollution control means you will get some amount of subsidy. When the actual cost is low, higher than what we have expected, we have seen earlier, if the permit system works alone, then we will have too much of pollution control. Okay? Too much of pollution control we are expecting. That means, in that case, you impose some amount of tax. So, this tax will help, will motivate the firm to go up to this much. So, the divergence will, 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 uh, uh, will come down. Right? The divergence will come down. So, that means, with this hybrid system, actually, then what is happening here, if you look at our marginal benefit curve is actually not this M B curve, rather the effective marginal benefit curve is a step function like this. This is like this and then this. Please try to understand. So, instead of having a downward sloping M B, rather our effective M B is actually a step function. So, hybrid system hybrid system hybrid system tries to approximate approximate the mb curve as a step function as a step function. That is why, that is why the divergence is actually going down. If you in reality, in reality, if we make more steps in this step function, the effectiveness of hybrid system improves, but more the number of steps you make, if the number of steps is more, then it would be very challenging for the policy maker also to assign that many tax subsidy and XM. Because be too many steps means too many tax and subsidies, here I have only one. But then in ideal case, in ideal case what will happen, your benefit curve would be like this. Like this. So, too many tax system. right and in extreme case again it will become like a downward sloping that means you have too many teeny steps in this mb function so that is how a hybrid system works better than the permit system alone 
because what is happening we are trying to utilize we are trying to utilize the 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 uh, benefit of uh, permit system and the benefit of tax system in this hybrid one when the mc is actually higher than the expected one then what is happening there is too much of pollution control we are we are expecting in a permit system alone then tax system dampen that type of it, it gives a dampening effect and increase the optimal level of pollution control and that is why the divergence goes down similarly when it is low then too less of pollution control we are asking for and the moment i impose this subsidy then that gives some kind of additional incentive to the firms for going for to go for extra amount of pollution control and that is why you can see from here that xm minus xh star the divergence is higher when this is permit system alone this is permit system alone this is the divergence ineffectiveness and this is actually hybrid system hybrid system this is again permit this is hybrid system so in both the cases whether your actual marginal cost is higher or lower we can see that the divergence amount of divergence in case of the hybrid system is lower than permit system working alone that is why we say that a hybrid system is actually better than the permit system or tax system working alone because here we are trying to take the advantages of both the system and combining into a hybrid one so with this we are we are closing our uh, discussion today and uh, we will meet again in our next class to discuss the remaining portion of this incentive designing. Thank you.